So I wanted to film this video today to just have a more like lighthearted, chill, fun vlog. Good morning, Silo. Good morning. Are you ready to get up for the day? So cozy. Okay, so this is our current morning outfit. It's always so cold when we wake up because we turn the heater off at night. I've got this gigantic hoodie, sweatpants, and Ugg boots. And this is our cozy space, right, Papa? And I have already turned on my kettle, so we are ready for matcha. What are you doing? You're rolling around with your little bunny? Are you kidding me? He's so cute! I know! <laughs> Would you like to look outside? Is that what you wanted? There are honestly so many weird parts of my life. In the mornings recently, I've been taking these probiotics. All my life, I have had difficulty taking pills. I've always used some sort of food that is mushy. Raspberries or blueberries, or I'll have yogurt, or today's choice was a little bit strange, uh, truffle pasta. It's basically like I'm a dog. I'm hiding a pill inside of my food. I have been in this season of life where I haven't been quite too sure on like what is going on and what I'm here to do to some degree. To some degree there's this complete clear knowing of the role that I play in all that this is on planet earth. I know that I'm here to to be a light, to live in my highest potential, and to support others through my own experiences, through my own learnings and wisdom. And yet, there has been this confusion on like, okay, but like, what exactly does that look like in the practical sense? In the past, there was clarity on, oh, I make YouTube videos, I vlog my life, here's how frequently it happens, here's how I do it, there's the system, rinse and repeat. I've just been in the season where everything that was has dissolved and is dissolving and sometimes there's still a part of me that's like grasping, clinging onto it like, wait, don't we need to keep doing this? And then there's this greater part of me that's like, no, 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 something new is coming and you don't need to know exactly what it is. Man, it's been a weird time through this loss of control, this loss of knowing exactly how it's going. My focus has more so been on caring for myself in the best way that I possibly can in each moment and each day to release grip and really trust what is unfolding in front of me. We are running a couple of errands. I just got some gas, which felt so good. I've been doing this new thing where I'm really expressing gratitude for all the things that I am spending money on and <clears throat> investing in. Just pumping my gas. It's a nice sunny day and I'm like, yes, this feels so good. My car is fueled up, ready to do some errands. I'm about to head into CVS and get some tampons and then um, I just realized that this is the same plaza that has this dry, dry cleaning place. So I have this white fluffy rug in the back of my car um, from my office that was getting quite dirty. And I'm going to see if they are able to freshen that up for me. So it's time for errands. Well, that was a little bit unfortunate. The amount that it would cost to clean the rug was the same amount that the rug cost. Not worthwhile, so I'm on Urban Outfitters website right now looking at this guy, which I actually used to have this rug a couple of years ago. The only reason that I don't still have that rug is because there were multiple dogs that peed on it and it just got to a point where it was pretty disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. <gasps> Wait! Are you serious? They don't have the size that I would need. 
Oh no, last time I looked at it, they totally did. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, well, I guess it's time for a new rug. A brand new one. Whoa, look at this one. That is funky. We're going to rinse off in the shower, officially get ready for the day, put on something cute and cozy, and make some breakfast. Our sponsor for today's video is Element Electrolytes, which I'm so excited to be partnered with them because I'm pretty sure that my entire life up until recently, I was dehydrated until I found Element and started using this on a daily basis. In case you don't know what electrolytes are, they are minerals that power your nervous system and help you stay hydrated. Most people think in order to be hydrated, you just need to increase your water intake, but actually through the day to day and when we sweat, we're losing water and we're losing sodium. So we need to replenish both of those in order to actually be hydrated and avoid things like headaches and muscle cramps and dips in our energy throughout the day. Unlike other electrolyte brands, Element doesn't include any sugar, artificial ingredients or colorings. It's incredibly healthy for you. I just mix one packet into my water bottle every morning and then at night I make myself a cup of their hot cocoa from their new chocolate medley where you actually use the electrolyte powder with hot water and I put in a little bit of milk and it is so good. If you haven't tried out Element electrolytes and you would like to, there are so many different flavors to choose from. All you've got to do is click the link in the video description to try it out for your yourself. We've got base culture nut and seed bread. I don't currently have a toaster oven. This is how I'm toasting my bread. And then I've got amazing avocado. We're going to make avo toast. I think I'm going to put an egg on one of them and then kimchi on the other, which I've been so into. I ran out of sauerkraut, which I normally use, and this is definitely more spicy. It's got more of a kick to it, but I like to have something, not just plain avocado. Okay, it is all coming together. We've got our thick, thick, thick avocado toast. We've got our poached egg, which is gonna be done in a minute. I'm gonna put some salt. Whoa, that was a lot of salt. Crack some pepper. And then we're gonna put a little bit of this kimchi on top. Silo Nelson, are you ready for breakfast? I've never done cut up kimchi like this on avocado toast, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's see how it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Highly, highly recommend. Wow. It's actually such a nice day outside. It is cold. I'm out here barefoot. My feet are like freezing, but in the sun. I am about to head out for an energy clearing session with somebody that I haven't met before but that one of my good friends highly recommends. The focus is on cord cutting so it's really like energetic hygiene, clearing out anyone else's energy that might be in my field. I'm really excited to see what this experience is like and overall in life to prioritize this much more. There's so many practices that I have been doing in the realm of energetics and embodiment but this specific niche, this specific area is not something I've really explored. So here's to the first one. So I'm gonna record a video, so can you lay down? Lay down. All the way down. All the way down. Lay down. Good boy. I just returned home from this energy clearing session, which was unlike anything I've experienced before. A lot of the, the energetics that I've been doing has been somatic experiencing, like I talked about in my last video. This was more of an energetic, like a, a reading. <sighs> I, I got really emotional during the session. It was a lot. It was a lot to hear because it was putting words to the deepest internal parts of my experience that I haven't, you know, at times I've consciously been aware of, but hadn't like 
talked about it with another person or had another person pointed out or anything. So yeah, there, there were a lot of themes and some of it is personal, but some of it I do feel called to share here. This woman shared with me, she's like, you know, there's, there's this fantasy daydream part of you. It's like you can very easily go to these other places in your mind and your awareness and you're very creative. If there are people in your life who are trying to bring you back to reality, break it down and make it practical and make it make sense in a certain way, it's it's going against the way that you actually operate and the way that is your unique gift and contribution. And you're going to feel stifled if there are people who are trying to fit you into a box. Oh, <sighs> yeah. There's a lot more from this session, but to be honest, it just happened, so I'm still digesting it and processing it. I did want to share that with you because it's very evident that that has been happening in my life, in the recent years in my journey and it was just really supportive to hear that those parts of me don't necessarily need to be changed it's not actually better for me to do things in a practical way that always makes sense it's more supportive for me to be in an environment that feels nurturing to my creativity and to the the daydream the the fantasy of like imagining what could be possible. When I look back at what I have created so far in this lifetime, that is where the magic happens for me. It's in dreaming up all of these incredible possibilities that seem so far-fetched or out of this world, and that's the whole point. That's the whole point, is getting to get curious of like, but what could be possible? Anything's possible. There's this part of me that has always known that and over time there have just been experiences that I've been through, people that I've met, things that have been said to me, shared with me that I really bought into and thought that a different way was better than the way that I operate. And through that, there have been learnings, there have been lessons. This is just a really big light bulb moment, a big wake up call of, oh yeah, come back and remember what's your natural doorway, what's your natural way. So, woo, oh man. <laughs>